All right, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. I said that wrong. Anyway, uh, today we are going to be doing another Jeep mod, 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 plus mod, parentheses S. We're going to do some stuff to the Jeep. The Evil's kind of on standstill right now. Um, I have the side skirt sitting here, but I had to order all new hardware and clips and whatnot because the body shop never ordered them. Go figures. Kind of like something they should have done when they had the car for one and a half years. Uh, we're going to do the case suspension um, Viper coil mod, and then I'm going to start cutting up the grill for the. Um, God, what can I think today? The winch. Um, I'm ho I think the coil mod's pretty, pretty pretty easy um, it's just a bracket you got to take two bolts off I think one is on the um, passenger side motor mount and the other one is just a random bolt that's holding in a bracket or something like that and uh, the coil bounce to that bracket and then all the wires there's directions on how to do it now read over them but it is pretty late in the day already it's like two o'clock um, so uh, I'm gonna start this at least get the coil mount on and pull the Jeep up hopefully can get it into the garage I have a mess of stuff in this garage. I'm still trying to get the stump bike back um, Operational so I could sell it and then that way I could start cleaning everything up and get rid of once I can get rid of the stump bike and everything um, I can at least move the Evo over and I can pull the Jeep in I'm not gonna be able to pull the whole Jeep in because as you saw last video the roof rack So I should be able to just get the hood in and that's really all I need so yeah, let's pull this thing in. First order of business is to crack uh, this bolt and this bolt off the motor mount where the bracket is going to mount to. I'm going to pull these off first. These are the coils right here. Once you get these off, um, it will expose everything. Just a pain in the ass to do it. So yeah, I'm going to try to get you guys up on the tripod here real quick. Um, I can't extend the actual head of the tripod out because it tipped over and it broke so now I can't even rotate that so I'll try to get as best of angles as possible um, if not I'll just dangle it inside the engine bay and hopefully that it doesn't fall in all right got it out um, it had a red clip on it unfortunately they don't put the clip on very visible um, so I started yanking on it till this broke off and I was like yeah well no turn it back now um, but the clip itself is good um, it was just that just broke so now we can get this back well, we can put this on real quick. A little tricky um, because this didn't line up 100% um, but it's good now um, basically you're just gonna leave these two bolts at the bottom super super loose so this moves this whole plate can move forward and back um, put this screw through put this screw in and everything will just kind of just work its way into place uh, we are going to mount the um, actual coil now uh, I have my harness plugged in early so this is the, the coil right here uh, it's a Viper coil so this thing, the way this thing mounts, um, there's no directions, so I have to go. I have to look online real quick. Um, they do all, uh, have a picture on the website on how to set these up because these have to be specific.
So I started putting the winch on and then realized I didn't pick the camera up again. I have a real habit of doing that. So let me show you what I got going on right now. It's not fully terrible. Um, I know a lot of people, they'll just chop this whole thing off. They only run this and it's just open. Um, I want to run this so it gives some, I don't know, thing to look at. But basically this will be sitting here. I got to get another one as you can see. That's broken right there. Um, that was like that. And then a the winch fits perfectly in there. Um, this side I had to cut a little further back. Um, it doesn't have the mounting tab here because that broke off. But it has a mounting tab here. And worst comes to worst, I could just, I don't know, run a zip tie or something. And then this is where the actual um, hand spool and or winch spool and free spool goes. You just hit the switch and it'll rotate over. So I have to chop a little bit more than this side does. Um, if these bolts are going to be hard to get to because I do have the radiator skid plate. Might be able to get something in there, wrench or something. I think I should be able to, but um, yeah, it's been chopping. I probably won't use this. I started cutting it, but honestly, it's it's pretty useless at this point. So I'll probably just run it just like this. I think we should be good once these screws are in there. Um, it's probably going to be a little flimsy. But that's where we stand right now. I'm probably gonna install the winch tonight. I probably won't um, actually run all the power wires. I'm still trying to figure out how I wanna run the power wires because they give you this big ass um, on off switch, which I don't like. Uh, they give you this, um, say battery on off switch. I don't like this because if this isn't mounted inside, um, it's I'm just gonna leave it on and I don't wanna leave the winch on. I wanna be able to hit a switch and it powers it and then when i'm done using it i turn the switch off and it kills the power there be ignition or an actual rocker switch i know you need a second i think you need a secondary solenoid i don't know if you can wire it into this uh, solenoid on top of the winch so i'm still researching that um, there's no real information on it everybody just says why would you want to do that that's typically what everyone says but i'm going to take a break i'm tired i'm thirsty i'm going to get a quick workout in and then come back and I'll probably mount the, uh, the winch and mount everything else, the uh, grill and whatnot, and then just kind of just leave the wire off to the side. 2,000 years later. Oh God, this thing's getting worse again. All right, workout smashed. Let's install this winch. So here's the actual finished product. Um, I'll probably end up getting another grill. Um, I just started cutting away. Um, this way I can make it a little bit cleaner and more seamless. Um, just like over here, I could have left it a little bit longer. But overall, looks dope. Um, I gotta put the fair lead on now. And then once I get the fair lead on, I'm gonna cut this and then pull this through. Uh, kinda, kinda roach this a little bit, but it's all good.
Okay, so I don't know what I actually caught of me installing any of this. Um, I just realized my battery was dying and whatever. I really suck at this whole vlog and shit. But everything's on. I know this isn't how you're supposed to do it, but for now it'll be fine. It's probably gonna make noise because it's gonna move around. Overall, um, damn, this shit looks so good. This Jeep is really, really coming along. Um, I guess I should have started the Jeep to make sure that the coils are all good. So I guess everything, uh, I guess everything checks out. Honestly, I love the look of the WJs and this thing is just turning out absolutely phenomenal right now. I think the next order of business is going to be to start cutting fenders. Um, I'm going to end this part of the video because I got to go back to work tomorrow. So probably on the weekend, I'll probably cut the fenders. I don't want to do anything tonight. I'll wait until the weekend and I can get, um, if, God forbid I have to leave the truck uh, Jeep here. I can at least have my bike to ride. Okay, so <clears throat> I actually decided to not cut the fenders in this video to do a whole separate other video on that. Um, I have all the footage for that as well. So I apologize, this just ended abruptly. Sometimes that's just the way it goes with vlogging, uh, unfortunately. Um, this video was kind of I, 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 I was constantly not hitting record on the camera and the camera was just on but I never hit record on a lot of the stuff um, so I, I do apologize um, I almost wasn't gonna push this video but I was like you know what let me just get something out to show people uh, the Viper coil mod on a Jeep as well as just getting the the, the winch kind of squared away the winch still isn't wired up I do have everything for wiring it up I'm doing another video on that uh, currently, uh, still waiting on a couple little things for the wiring, but um, the winch can be wired up right now. Uh, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that. I'm back in my garage. My garage is actually um, kind of squared away. Um, I am moving out of my shop space. My buddy's expanding, so he's kind of taking over where i was renting out um which i'm not mad at um this actually helps me because i do a lot of work in my garage more work than i do in uh in sacramento plus the fact it saves me money for rent saves me a lot of money on gas driving back and forth i'm glad i'm back um in my garage i'll show you guys real quick um what i have set up i still have a bunch of other stuff still at the shop that i need to bring back here even though i'm not staying in this house probably past i think next year um, next I think March time frame. I'm still gonna get all this stuff. Uh, I don't have much furniture if I do need to ship stuff Most of the stuff is in the garage. So let me just show you guys real quick before I go ahead and wrap this video up This is off to the left and you can see a little cutout where they I don't know California homes They have everything like that um, But it does make for a good spot to put these um, because the only other spot would have been up front But n those two didn't fit together up front uh, doesn't matter what side I put them on. I do want to put a big cabinet up here. I'm going to take that light down. I'm going to redo the lighting in here. I got the two bikes here. Um, as you can see, the stunt bike is back together. It's running, it's rideable. That bike has always been running rideable, but I put the bikes on this side for now. Um, that way I can access the tools still without having to go around a car. Uh, Evo's backed up. I backed it up as much as I possibly can to the wall to leave space uh, for the Supers wheels over here. These are probably gonna move inside my kitchen. <laughs> Bachelor life. Uh, Evo fits nicely over here. It's not gonna really be moving anywhere. Um, I'm gonna be doing some work on this car pretty, pretty soon with the um, fenders and whatnot. And then it goes to the body shop again to have this painted. And yeah, that I guess that's just gonna be the end of the video um, I do have some more stuff for the Jeep coming um, little things here and there and then I'm gonna be doing a coolant upgrades pretty pretty soon but with that I hope you guys enjoyed definitely worthy upgrade for you Jeep guys your WJ guys I think the XJ's too and with that I need each and every single one of y'all to stay hungry stay humble I'll catch you guys on the next one later I swear to God man I'm gonna make it soon silence all the haters as they see us making moves do what I want, so I got nothing to prove. Staying motivated, teaching others what to do. I'm staying focused.